What is up guys? So I know I haven't done a TBR video in a while and the reason why is because it stressed me out. <laughs> um, if you've been watching me for a little bit, you know that last year I read a lot of books. It was like consistently like 20 to 25 books that I read each month and I'm the type of person that if I read a certain number of books, I'm always trying to get to that top number again every single month. So it just, it became really stressful and TBR videos for me just really weren't enjoyable anymore. So I've taken a break from TBR videos for a few months and I feel like I'm ready to go back into it. I have chosen not that many books. I've picked out a few books. Some I have read already, some I am in the middle of. I won't give you my full thoughts. I'm just going to walk you through the books that I am planning on reading in the month of June. Let's get into it. So the first book that I want to read in the month of June is The Foxglove King by Hannah Witten. So I had pre-ordered this because it sounded really good. This is basically this you're following our main character lore and she is a necromancer and this kind of magic is pretty much illegal in this world that she lives in and she hides her abilities until one day she's summoned by the king to use her powers and help them accomplish something. I'm not going to get into my review. I will say that it is difficult to get into because the first probably 100 pages feel kind of like info jumpy, but once you get into the story, it picks up a little bit. I was very intrigued. I was very intrigued. Gilded and Gothic Romance, new epic fantasy series, a young woman's secret power to raise the dead plunges her into the dangerous world of the sainted king royal court. The Foxglove King. The next book that I have on my TBR this month is Royal Assassin. This is book two in the Farseer trilogy. So I read Assassin's Apprentice last month and I really did enjoy it. It was a four star for me and I wanted to continue the series while the plot was still like fresh in my mind. So I have started this. I'm listening to this on audiobook and I mean I am really enjoying the audiobook for this but I am super excited to see where our main character fits is gonna go on his journey. So if you haven't watched my wrap-up video, basically the Farseer trilogy, you're following this boy named Fitz and he is a bastard to one of the princes in this kingdom. And there's a lot of like political stuff going on and he's kind of thrown somewhat in the middle. And there is this magic ability called the skill, which is communication between humans, like telepathic. And then there's something called the wit, which is looked down upon, and that is the communication between animals. So Fitz has the wit, but he's learning the skill as well. So I will say in this fantasy series is that the magic is more in the background and the real focus is the character Fitz and the rest of the characters in the series. One of the things that I loved about reading Assassin's Apprentice and while reading this currently is that even like the side characters, they have so much depth to them and they're very fleshed out for being side characters and just getting to know Fitz and seeing him grow up and like develop a personality from, you know, because we're following him when he's very little. So it's just, it's been a really, really great time and I am very excited to be reading this. Next book on my TBR, we have <laughs> Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. I am a decent way through. I am annotating and I am just having a blast. So I have a little bit left to read. I'm hoping to read a chunk of it today, but I've been having such a good time. I really love Brandon Sanderson. So in this world, the magic system is, is, is weird. It's really weird. So there's this thing called breath, right? And the more breaths you have, the higher in society you are basically. 
and when you have breath it enhances colors and pitch people who have a certain amount of breaths so they have perfect they can hear perfect pitch you know there's just the magic system is unlike anything i've ever read but the way that sanderson like explains it is it's so easy to understand it's not you know it's not all this info dumpy it's just very accessible the way that he writes his magic systems and his world building. So I've been having a really good time. Yeah, this might be a five star. It 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 might. So we'll see where the story goes. But so far I am enjoying Warbreaker. Oh, I didn't really tell you the plot. So basically <laughs> the plot is that we're following these two princesses and one is promised to a god king. And we are following what happens when they get together but also all of the stuff going on politically like in the background. So that is that is Warbreaker. All right, then we have Severance by Ling Ma. So I wasn't going to pick up this book, but my friend Bex, she was just like raving about this book saying how great it was and that she really wanted me to read it. So I bought it and I am reading it. I'm not that far into this book. I'm about 30 pages in, but so far I am... I'm liking it. I mean, I'm not that far into it. I don't have too many thoughts, but basically this is somewhat of a pandemic story. Not like, it's not following COVID because if it was, I would not want to read it. <laughs> but basically this, the way that the virus is described reminds me of the video game, not the show, the video game, The Last of Us. So it is this fever that is going on and it's, like this fungus so when you breathe in the fungal spores that's when you get infected and they call the infected the fevered so in the video game the last of us it was the spores that you breathe in that could turn you so i'm enjoying it so far i like how the book is written because you are not sure what is going on and the more you read the more is revealed so i'm excited to see where this book is going to go. Okay, we have four books left. <laughs> the next book I want to read is Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant, also known as Seanan McGuire. <laughs> so this is a horror story and it has to do with the ocean, which is why I picked this up because the ocean terrifies me. I am absolutely terrified of, of the ocean and of space. You will never catch me on the beach. Ever. You won't. So this is about a voyage to the Mariana Trench to film a mockumentary bringing life to ancient sea creatures of legend. Sounds like it's gonna be my speed. I'm pretty excited to read this. I hope that I'll be able to get to it. That That's what I'm hoping for. So I think like my plan is I will say I'll probably I'm probably gonna copy Larissa from Larry Reads and and do like a video like making my TBR and did I follow my TBR and then do a wrap up because I love those videos that she does and they're just a lot of fun. So, okay. Next we have The Lies I Tell. I've had this book for a while. I really wanted to read it when it first came out. Um, I think this is about a con artist. Yeah, a con ar artist who erases herself to become whoever you need her to be. A college student, a life coach, real estate agent, but nothing about her is real. She slides alongside you and tells you exactly what you want to hear, and by the time she's done, you've likely lost everything. So it sounds really good. I've, like I said, I've been wanting to read this for a while. It's just been... I guess not a priority for me, but I'm going to make it a priority this month. So I'm excited. Then we have conversations on love. I recently hauled this and I don't know. I just, I feel like it'll be an interesting read. So on the back, it says after years of feeling that love was always out of reach, journalist Natasha Lunn sends out to understand how relationships work and evolve over a lifetime. She turned to authors and experts to learn about their experiences as well as drawing on her own, asking, how do we find love? How do we sustain it? And how do we survive when we lose it? I am pretty excited for this one. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. I think I'm gonna annotate it and I, it's, it's gonna be a great time. It's gonna be a great time. 
last book on my TBR, we have Lessons in Chemistry. I have been meaning to read this for a while. Recently hauled this as well, and it, it just, it, it needs to be done. It needs to be done. So, chemist Elizabeth Zott is not your average woman. In fact, Elizabeth would be the first to point out that there is no such thing. It is the early 1960s, and her all-male team at a research institute take a very unscientific view of equality. Forced to resign, she reluctantly signs on as the host of a cooking show. So, excited to follow this. I've heard that we get the perspective from a dog in this book and honestly that's <laughs> that's one of the main reasons why I want to read this is to read from the dog's perspective but I I think it'll be good I mean I've heard so many people rave about this and I'm trying not to have my expectations like set too high and then be disappointed so we'll we'll see how this goes we will see how this goes so those are the books that I have on my TBR. I think I have a pretty decent stack considering that like I'm in the middle of some and I have finished some others. So this is the stack for the month of June. I'm definitely like cutting back on the amount of books that I usually read just so it'll be, you know, a more enjoyable experience for me. Because that is, that is the point of reading, having an, having an enjoyable experience. So Please comment down below what is on your TBR for this month. What books are you excited most for? Because um, I'm always looking to add more books onto my TBR, of course. So, so super excited for the month of June. These months have just been flying by so, so fast. Like, we're already in June. That's just absolutely crazy for me. At the end of June, I'll probably do like a a mid-year evaluation on how, how my reading has been going so I'm pretty excited for that but that is all that I have to say these are all the books that I'm gonna read super excited if you're excited for some of the books on my TBR let me know um, and with that being said I will see you guys next week take care mm -hmm.